Hi, I'm Christina Prawl. In this video, I'll be discussing the different types of dissection that you'll be using in lab, and that is sharp and blunt dissection. Sharp dissection is accomplished by using sharp tools. This includes a scalpel, which has a handle and a blade, scissors, and different types of saws, which are used for cutting bone. Sharp dissection is used for tasks such as skinning, reflecting muscle, and removing dense fascia or aponeuroses and should really only be used when specifically instructed to do so in your lab manual. Blunt dissection is accomplished using blunt tools. This includes a probe, forceps which you can use to remove and pick fat and fascia out of your way, and even simply your hands which you can use to move large structures and muscles out of your way. Scissors can also be used for a specific form of blunt dissection where the outer edges of the blades are used to spread your way through fascia and fat, and I will demonstrate this more clearly in a future video. The advantage of using blunt dissection is that it greatly decreases the risk of accidental cutting of a structure, which can be a huge issue when you're using sharp tools. Blunt dissection is mainly used when searching through large areas of fat and in between muscles when you're looking for neurovasculature. 